I know that some of you on this webinar may not really know that much about Prologue, and a lot of you probably could even benefit from a fresh look at what we've been doing lately in terms of innovation and new features for Prologue. So in, in just a bit, I'll give you a really quick five-minute overview of Prologue. But for now, I want to show you the results of what Steve sent over from WinEst. What, what you're looking at right now is our web-based version of Prologue. Uh, I'm looking at a project dashboard, and it's, it's kind of a boring dashboard at the moment because it's a brand new project that really doesn't have any information in it, and it doesn't even have any budget and cost information in it. But what I'm going to do now is refresh this dashboard. Steve just sent the information over, and I'm uh, hoping <laughs> that uh, what you'll see here in just a moment is that the project budget and projected cost will all reflect exactly with what Steve just sent over. So it's loading right now. Uh, it's already in the system, or it should already be in the database. What the, what's going on right now is the screen is just refreshing. And three, two, one, ta-da! Okay, we've got a project budget, and here's the three hundred nineteen thousand dollars four hundred and sixteen that uh, Steve just brought over from the estimate. So uh, I know that Steve's estimate was relatively small for this demo. What's really powerful about this process is that it can roll up literally tens of thousands of detailed estimate line items into a control budget like this in seconds. And I mean, just imagine what that was like to do manually. Uh, when I was in project controls working for a, a big uh, uh, EPC contractor, we used to do things like this all the time. We used to work with our estimators, pull over our estimates, code them all against our, our project budget, and then, and then roll it up, pull it into the uh, actual uh, control, uh, control budget. And that process, the first time, would, would literally take a week or two. And then uh, every subsequent revision would, would typically take hours, if not days. So it was a, it was a fairly labor-intensive process that we had to do for every single project, whether we were just bidding the project or whether we had actually won it. And what Steve just demonstrated is how this same process that used to take days or weeks now happens in literally seconds. So um, this is really cool. So I want to draw your focus to this project budget. This is a dashboard. Um, all the elements in here are drill, drilled through, which I'll show you more in a moment. But the project budget, if I click this right now, it's loading that same structure that Steve just sent over to me. So this was a completely empty project prior to just a moment or two ago. And now here, here's the information grouped by the different divisions. Uh, if we wanted to run a report, there's a report section here that could show the, a little bit more information with a few more columns. So I'll pull up my report really quickly here. Prolog ships with over 400 reports right out of the box. Um, so go ahead and pick this and make sure I have my logo set on. I do, and we're just going to go ahead and view it as opposed to actually printing it to PDF. If we print it to PDF, we obviously have the ability then to route this report around, uh, you know, bring it to a meeting with us, etc. So it's generating the report, and this is what Steve just sent over with the estimate integration. Again, here, here's that 319,000. Uh, in change, um, I have this particular report. It's broken down by the primary grouping, group one, with the construction, design, permits, and equipment. Got a really nice pie chart up above here. We have the logo all embedded. And again, this happened in, in literally moments. So I'm going to break out of here for just a moment. Um, what I want to show you a little bit, let me just switch back to my project. I would like to give you just a really quick overview of, of Prologue, uh, about five minutes worth. Um, <clears throat> you know, Pro Prologue's been used to help literally thousands of construction projects over the last 20 years. Prologue came out in 1993, and it's been used on almost every type of project imaginable, and, and projects all over the globe, too. And it's everything from the very iconic, like, like this, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, to projects that you may be familiar with. It could be the building you're working in today, the stadium you're going to be kicking back in over the weekend, or even that airport you'll be flying through. This is the Sacramento airport that was managed using Prologue. Um, I mean, Prologue is a construction project management software. Um, it's well known across the industry, and it's especially known for its flexibility, its breadth and depth of features and functionality. We have over 65 processes that Prologue helps to manage, and it's incredibly scalable, too. It's used on the smallest project to the, to the largest uh, project and programs. And while Prolog has been around for a really long time, we want to make sure that people know that this is not the same Prolog you knew from 10 years ago or even five years ago. We've been doing a lot of very innovative things recently, and you're going to be seeing a lot more very innovative things uh, coming up. Um, 
me switch back to Prolog here for a moment. Um, this is the web-based version of Prolog. We have a few different flavors uh, for different user roles. We also have a desktop version. We have a, an iPad version. We have versions that run in Microsoft Excel, etc. But I'm just to expose you to some of the functionality that we have here. Um, this, is, this is the dashboard. This dashboard is fully configurable. This happens to be the dashboard, though, that ships with the product. Um, and then this project overview section, we have customers doing all kinds of things. I, I put some things up here that I've seen some of our customers do. So I've embedded a project webcam up here. So um, I, I have to step back just a moment and tell you that uh, the other day when Steve and I were talking about a, a name that we're going to use for this uh, demo today, uh, Steve's based in Seattle. And he said, hey, you know, I, I see you've got a couple of hospital projects in your database. We've got a couple in ours. Uh, so why don't we create another healthcare project and let's call it the Seattle Children's Hospital. So I, <laughs> I downloaded some images and linked to some webcams doing Google searches on children's, uh, uh, Seattle's Children's Hospital. But I just want to throw a disclaimer out. I don't know if, if any of the Trimble Buildings products or services were actually used on this project. We just kind of put this data up here for the demo. So I just want to throw a disclaimer out there on that. Um, so this is not a case study of, of the actual Seattle Children's Hospital by any stretch. But I did want to show you some of the things you can do. Um, some of our clients, they put in their project information right here so that they can quickly get to their construction-related information. A lot of times when a company uses Prolog, it's not just the general contractor or the construction manager that's using it. Many, many times it's the entire collaborative team, and I'll touch on that in a, in a moment. So it, it allows everybody to come to one place. If you have your client coming to this location so that they can get the latest version of the cost report, or see other project information, it's also a good place to where you can give them uh, you know, links to your webcam, links to your blog, so you don't have to give them 15 different links to, to find out different information. So this is, this is all, all uh, customizable. I did this in about three minutes, throwing this type of information in here. What is built in the Prolog, though, is, is I'm going to focus on three main areas of functionality. We have an area called cost control a second called document control, and a third called field admin. The cost control is everything related to budget, cost, forecasting. Uh, this is where you would do uh, cash flow, uh, and forecasting curves, et cetera, set up your initial budgets like the ones Steve just sent over to us. Um, we also manage contracts, and the contracts can be any type. They can be contracts between a GC and their subcontractors. They could be contracts between the GC and the owner, so a prime contract. Um, consultant contracts, agreements, they can be any type of contract, meaning it could be a fixed price, a, a, uh, a fee-based fee contract, etc. cetera. Um, we have a very sophisticated change management uh, uh, module. I'll be touching on that in just a moment, so I won't talk to it too much here. And then we have invoices, too. So we have invoices against the various contracts, invoices against the purchase orders, and then the application for payment would be like an invoice to the owner itself. Um, let's see, that cover everything here? Yes. So let me go up to the document control. Document control is a grouping where we basically have anything to do with communication and managing the different documents that happen on a job. Um, I have RFIs at the top because RFIs are probably the most used feature within Prolog. Um, we have a very sophisticated RFI uh, uh, process that can be as simple as you need or as sophisticated as you need. Uh, we have workflow built in, but you can also always create your own custom workflow for routing and approvals um, to, to create a standard RFI answer times with alerts that pop up if something's about to run late, that kind of thing. Um, under communications, we have conversation log that can record your email correspondence. Uh, Prola has a really nice integration with, with Microsoft Outlook and other email tools to capture all that email uh, communication, which is often a very, very common type of communication on the project, and you don't want that getting lost. You want to pull that in so that everybody has accessibility to it. Um, hot list is kind of like a glorified to-do list, but with a lot more functionality. And then there's issues and meeting minutes. Um, the important thing about the document control, the thing I hear over and over again is this is used a lot in both um, claims avoidance and to substantiate a claim uh, in your favor too. So um, all the information, all the communication is in one spot. It's very easy to log. It's very easy to retrieve. Um, the next general area here is what we call document management, but it's the management of all your different 
files, whether that be a drawing, a specification, or even an Excel file, PowerPoint, your photos, project photos, etc. All that's managed here, the, and the incoming, outgoing, transmittal, and correspondence as well. And then finally, we have a whole section here uh, dedicated to submittal management. Uh, submittal management is becoming more and more important on jobs. Um, it, it helps helps with margins if you can uh, effectively control your submittal process. Um, and we're going more and more electronic with this process too. Uh, we do have integration with scheduling too. Um, on the field admin, this is everything that happens in the field. Now, I mentioned that we have an iPad application for Prolog. That's used especially with our field admin functionality. So uh, whether you're doing punch lists, uh, doing checklists, material checklists out in the field, safety checklists, et cetera, all these types of things work really, really well uh, on the iPad app because the iPad app has the ability, using its native functionality, to take photos and videos and even audio clips while you're out in the field. And when you take that information and record that information at its source, it's much more real, it's much more accurate, and it automatically syncs back with this database here. So if somebody had an iPad out in the field right now and they, they completed a punch list item, it would automatically show up here in this list. There's no import, export type of uh, feature. So there's a lot more that I could show you, but I'm going to move on. I have a, a short little PowerPoint just to highlight some of the things I missed, and I'm going to be turning it back over to Steve. Um, so I mentioned that we have a lot of different roles or user types that use Prolog. What's really key to, to Prolog's uh, value is that each one of these roles can effectively have a different view. I just showed you a whole bunch of functionality. Obviously, not everybody in this list would need to use or necessarily even wants to see all that functionality. It can be overwhelming. But with Prolog, it's really easy to, to tailor down the whole user interface to make it as simple as you need it to be. Um, here's an example of, of somebody using our iPad application in the field. This is just an example of, since I'm not really showing you the iPad application, just an example of how we've specifically tailored the UI to the iPad user, meaning that we've put in more, more graphical and spatial uh, type of uh, interface so that as somebody's walking around the field, instead of just looking at a list of, of uh, RFIs, which is what's being shown right here, if they're walking into a particular room, they can see what RFIs, what punch list items, et cetera, are in that specific area that they're standing in. Um, and I mentioned that we have uh, Excel versions and Microsoft Office uh, versions of, of Prolog. Um, we, have, we have workflow built into the product based on our almost 20 years experience with the construction industry, so a lot of best practices built in, but then a lot of our customers use this workflow to further customize their routing and, and uh, approval process. And then uh, this is just an example of our change management process, one of many processes where everything's tied together really well, provide you really good value, things flow together to help you avoid doing double entry. Every single module, every single form in Prolog is supported by reports and letters, notification system, so that if, if there's a new contract that you need to sign and you've got your iPhone or, or some other mobile device, you'll automatically get a notification and you can link right back to that without having to go back to your desk. So there's a lot of really good functionality. Um, here's a dashboard with some actual data in it as opposed to showing you the uh, uh, Seattle Children's Hospital, which, which we're just starting and doesn't have any data yet but just to give you an idea of what a completed dashboard or, an, or a uh, uh, working dashboard looks like. Forecasting information, um, merging letters, a uh, full file management system that's a lot like your Windows Explorer, except instead of the files and folders being on some FTP site somewhere or existing on everybody's individual desktops, everything can be in one place, everything related to the project. Again, it really helps with uh, any types of claims or litigation cases. But even more than that, it makes it, it provides a single place to find information. Um, it's also very searchable. Our file management system has a Google-like search. So when you put in, you could put in complex search terms if you wanted to, and it'll return uh, the items that have the most hits or the, or the items that you're most likely, likely to look for. And it searches the actual contents of the document, not just the metadata. Um, and then, and then uh, finally here, just want to emphasize again that we're trying to create tools that promote collaborate, collaboration across the team. So with, the, with our browser version or our web-based version of Prolog, it allows anybody to use Prolog anywhere. Uh, but we also open it up like, like, a, like if you're doing a, a bidding, which is the example here, we open up the bidding process to people who aren't even project team members yet so that they can submit a bid in hopes that they'll become uh, you know, that next contractor on the job. 
So just in closing here, before I, I go back and turn things over to Steve, just wanted to say that I'm really excited about uh, what we're doing with uh, Winest and Model Logics. Uh, we've been doing more and more things like this, and, and this is only going to accelerate going forward. If you look at some of those uh, products and, and uh, companies on the bottom, these are all part of the Trimble Buildings uh, group, and we're all working real closely together to, tr to try to provide as much value as we can above and beyond what we can do with our individual products, but trying to make things work better together, all in the name of, of making your lives easier. So let me switch back over to the uh, uh, back over to the uh, prologue here. So uh, one thing we can do here is, you know, if we fast forward, like Steve said, let's pretend like now it's November 30th or sometime after November 30th, the project is complete. Instead of, uh, of uh, you know, zeros here where we have actual cost and contracts and everything, we have actual dollars here and we want to push that into the estimate. This is where we would check a box to say that this project is closed and I don't want to steal any of Steve's, Steve's thunder, so um, he'll describe what happens after I check that box here that, prologue, that this prologue project is closed. <laughs> 